tell me, uh, where are you planning to go with this group? What are your ambitions and goals? I started my first band when I was 11 years old. Me and my best friend, David Clark. We call ourselves Satan's Enemy, and then Green Cheese. After making a couple cassette tapes and homemade music videos, we recruited a bass player and a drummer and called ourselves Swish. From there, we toured across southern Ontario and Quebec in our drummer Matt's 94 Ford Taurus, playing everywhere and anywhere, trying to make a name for ourselves. High school was coming to a close. That totally sucked because I loved high school. I didn't want it to end. Hanging out with friends all day, every day, no responsibility, friggin' right. Our bass player Chad decided to leave the band to attend post-secondary education, whatever that is. Like most Canadian boys, my dream was to play in the NHL. I decided that I would keep hockey as my passion and not my field of employment. Plus, I can't really skate backwards. So music it was. I was 17 years old when I made that decision and I've not regretted it once. So Swish found a new bass player, Daniel Biro, a kilt-wearing introvert from Barrie, Ontario. We knew Daniel because he was the lead singer in his post-punk band Cheese Monkeys from Planet Nine. He said he wanted the job, so we gave it to him. Things started to feel like they were taking off. The four of us in the band were completely focused on our music. We all dumped our girlfriends, locked ourselves in a basement, and jammed all the time. You know, we were onto something here. We were a band in progress. Then it came time to change our band name, again. I felt like we had changed our band name more times than Meta World Peace, which I guess we did because he's only changed his name once. That's besides the point. Anyways, so we sat around my parents' dining room table one night, me and my three bandmates, and together we chose the name Hawk Nelson. We decided from that day forward that we were going to make music and take over the world by force. In August 2003, we signed a record deal with Tooth & Nail Records. We were stoked! In 2004, we racked up an astonishing 280 shows that year. By 2006, we had been on television, in movies, and we were preparing to head out in our very first arena tour. It was such an amazing time in my life. But with all the glamour and glory came hard times. Being away from home, living out of a suitcase, getting out of touch with family and friends, it really caught up with some of us. David left our band and Matt followed soon after. Honestly, I thought it was the end of our band. David and Matt were replaced by Jonathan Steingart and Aaron Tosti, and we continued on our musical journey. I was at a crossroads. In 2009, I had the idea to start writing a solo record. More for just a creative outlet, I guess. So I started diving into it, and I was really happy with the way my new stuff was turning out. Slowly but surely, my passion started to shift. My band Hawk Nelson started taking the back burner, and my solo music started to become my focus. In 2011, we recorded our fifth and final album under Tooth & Nail Records. We were given the option to re-sign, but I felt like I needed a fresh start. So, here I am, chapter two if you will. And from an outsider's point of view, you might be asking yourself, what the heck was this guy thinking? He's such an idiot, leaving a well-known band for basically nothing at all, huh. My response to that question goes as follows. At the end of the day, you can have all the power, all the glamour, and all the money in the world, but if your heart's not in what you do, well then why do you do it? I do miss the Hawk Nelson guys. I think about them every single day, and I'm really proud of them because I know they followed their hearts too, and I wish them the very best in their next chapter as well. And to you, still watching this mini documentary? This means one thing and one thing only. You still support me, and for that, I can't thank you enough. I'm Jason, and this is Abandoned Progress. Well
my soul and I have never been more proud the choice I made that far.